hello guys welcome to my youtube channel programmlg.com and today in this video i will show you how you can get mac os option in vmware workstation pro 15 so without any further ado let's get started so first guys let me just show you in pro whether i'm getting it or not create a new virtual machine guys you can see here i'm getting mac os option i have already installed it and my version is 10.14 so let me just show you here next and here you can see apple mac os x and it's the latest version so you are also getting 10.16 version which is the latest so let's just close this and let me just show you how you can get this option so first let me just uninstall this and then I will show you I will give, give you the latest unlocker which will unlock the VMware workstation pro 15 guys it's the latest version which is 10 sorry which is 15.5 and I will remove the VMware workstation and again install it and unlock it I will show you So guys the VMware workstation pro is now uninstalled and let me uninstall the latest version so guys here I made a separate folder for this so guys here is the setup which is 500 megabytes so you can download the latest version from the official website and I will give you the unlocker tool in the description below which is VMware unlocker by programmerly.com let me just install this Now it's installing. Guys, after installing the VMware workstation, what you just have to do, you have to download this file VMware Unlocker by programmerly.com.zip from the description below and extract it like I have already uh, extracted it. So just open this and let me just first check if the VMware workstation pro is installed or not so guys it's not installed yet it's installing so what you just have to do after installing the VMware workstation pro you you do not have to open this what you just have to do is just click on this right click you have to click on win install.cmd and none of these so right click and just select run as administrator let me just check if this is installed or not my laptop is getting slow because it's not charging and too many applications are running in the background so you can subscribe my channel if you want more videos like this because 
I will be uploading videos like this. And guys, also in the next video, I will show you how you can solve this error. VMware Workstation Pro can't run on Windows. So if you are getting this error, let me just let me know in the comments and I will solve this error for you in my next video. So guys, as you can see the VMware Workstation Pro 15.5 is now installed. You don't have to click on license, just click on finish and don't open it. So after that, what you have to do is don't guys don't just you don't have to click on this on local.exe you have to click on win installed or cmd right click run as administrator and it will do the process itself you have to do nothing now just wait it says patching guys it will take some time like one or two minutes and it will done so guys the process has been done and now let me show you if here is the it is if my vmware getting the mac option or not my PC is getting slow so guys now you can let me create a new virtual machine and just show you so here it is so guys here you're getting the Mac option and you can create a new virtual machine like me I've created this Mac OS 10.14 and I am also using Kala Linux. So if you want me to make a video on how to install Mac OS 10.14 or how to install Kala Linux 2.0 then let me just show you and let me know in the comments and guys next in the next video I will give to give you the solution of this error which is VMware Workstation Pro can't run on Windows so you can let me know in the comment if you want this video or not okay thank you bye bye see you in the next video